Very few Irish people can actually speak Irish, but everybody understands the nod, right? For example, if an old man is taking way too long to count his change in a shop, the two people behind him might make eye contact and give each other the nod. As in to say, this old man is very shit at counting change. That's all it means, right? You can't do that in any other country in the world. It's amazing. I was in America two years ago. I was in San Francisco. I was in the shopping mall car park, and I let this old man try park before me. He tried 50 times. He couldn't do it. So I made eye contact with the other car he was holding up and I gave the fella a nod as in to say this guy is really shit at parking cars this guy took it very aggressively big muscly bastard hopped out of his car came over to my window and was like do you want to dance fucko? do you want to dance buddy? I was so petrified I actually ignored him and kept on looking straight I don't know if you've ever been that petrified or something but I know who I was fooling the window was wide open and the spit was flying off my face and I, I, I actually pretended there was something wrong with me I was like here lad I'm a vegan I was in Supermax last night, I ordered a, a cheeseburger, I brought it home, uh, and I opened the bag, and, and they'd give me an extra burger by mistake. You should Someone take that back, back and cop on a small bit t-shirt. Why would you relax? You're a disgrace! You see, we Irish, when we talk, we answer a question first, and then we ask it. Have you noticed that? We say things like, you won't have a drink, will you? Well, you're not going out, are you? Do you know what we've been talking like all day? We're also famous for saying things that aren't necessary. All day long we say things that aren't necessary. You could live in Ireland for 50 years beside your neighbour, and if you meet them in the street, they look at you and they'll say, Ha ha, is that yourself? <laughs> Who else? It's no secret, by the way, that we Irish are very partial to a little drink. This fella Flanagan came home the other night with a lot of drink on him. His wife said, you're home. He said, I am. It's the only place that's open. <laughs> Did you ever see people coming out of pubs in Ireland when they close at night? Have you seen them? They're beginning to walk like that. Did you ever see them walk like that? Yeah, not to spill any. Get it done. <laughs> Oh my god, these are literally the same shorts I saw in Topshop. How old, how much are they? Four euro, oh my god, nobody's gonna know that these are from pennies, oh my god. Oh my god, your shorts are unreal. Four euro in pennies. Mummy, can I have a fiver? For what? It's just so I can get a drink and a packet of crisps or something. A drink doesn't cost a fucking fiver. Get my purse, I'll give you two pound. Two pound, are you for real? Think I made a fucking money. I haven't got a fucking fiver. There's two pounds in my purse. Get my purse and I'll get it for you. That's all I can do. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Alright, kill him here. Take a fiver. Take a fiver. Don't ask me for no more. You know, don't ask me for another penny the rest of the fucking week. The rest of the month, kill him. Don't ask because you won't get. For God, fivers every fucking day. Kill him. It's not fucking happening. I haven't fucking got it. Thank you. Did you just roll your eyes at me? Did you just roll your fucking eye? Give me the fiver. I didn't roll my eyes. Oh my God, here we fucking go. See how I did the fiver? Make sure you bring me back fucking milk or don't come home. Your dad wouldn't fucking stick it. No, he's an easy fucking life. Go on, fuck off. Fucking. Do you have any communion? Is it consecrated? It's good stuff. Hey, 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 what, what are you doing? I want it on my tongue. Yeah, calm down, okay? You can have it on your tongue. It's going to cost you. Are you throwing a confession? No. For a tenner? Twenty. How do I know you're a real priest? <whistles> Oi. Go on, peace be with you. How to curse an Irish? Face she lath, go she a certain, go of thrasna certain. Tatu ko henolok le cool margolok. Like for a part two. Ow. Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Are you alright? I'm 
no Tardy. No, I do it. Can I have soft butter, bro? Can I have some butter, fucking soft say, butter, though? The butter you're saying is like really hard. Yeah. Fucking hard butter. I couldn't butter me toast here yesterday. I couldn't butter your fucking toast. Is it too hard? No, butter is hard as a rock. I love fucking hard butter. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You like some salt? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to the afterlife. Am I dead? Yeah. I want to do it again. I'm sorry? I, I want to do over. That was no fun. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir, but we only offer one life per customer. You call that a life? I sat in an office for 30 years and got divorced. I'm afraid it was actually part of the terms and conditions that you agreed to when you signed up. I didn't agree to any of this. As per our policy, we can only offer right, fine. one. fine. I'm dead. What happens next? So before we let you in, we just have to ask a few questions. Yeah, go for it. What religion were you part of? I, well, I was raised Catholic, but but I, I... Sorry? I'm not religious. That's okay. Really? Yeah. I'm sure it's all made up anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. Secondly, when your mother and father... I, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but like... Why, why all the questions? It, it shouldn't be this hard to get into heaven. This is heaven, right? Oh, no, 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 no. This is hell. Really? Yeah. It's a lot cleaner than I imagined. I know. It's all propaganda, man. Why am I in hell? Well, because of all the people you murdered. <laughs> oh, yeah. Things you shouldn't do in Ireland. To be honest, I can't really tell you what to do, but if you don't want to offend someone or get punched in the face, then keep watching. Don't imitate our accents and make us sound like leprechauns. But to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. Not so much offensive, just annoying. Don't even dare say top of the morning. Just... America, I'm looking at you. Just be careful about asking if Ireland is still in the UK. It's not. But just do your research on why. Totally inclined to ask questions, but just be careful if you want to ask questions about the IRA or the trouble. It's a bit of a touchy subject and people are still very passionate about it. Please don't do that. My granddad's sister's brother's cousin's sister's dog's granddaughter's granddad was Irish, so I'm fully Irish. No, you're not. Don't come here to hunt leprechauns. They're not real. Don't just visit Dublin. Ireland is a gorgeous country and make sure you get to see everything. What the fuck? Is what was that? What? What's the thing in the sky? That's one ten, please. Holy crap. Here we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sorry. Fuck you. Can I get a manager, please? Ma'am, uh, I think you take it wrong. Usually I don't give a fuck to the customer, but today when I see your face, I feel really good. So that's why it's another way of thank you. Fuck you. Oh, uh, well, if that's the case, fuck you too. So fuck's sake. There's a reason I curse so much. Uh, it's not to do with the lack of vocabulary, it's because I am an Irish person. English language is all fucking grammar and rules, and, and the Irish soul is a much more fluid thing like that. The English language is like a brick wall between me and you, and fuck is my chisel. Okay. Things that Irish parents can't say. Garbage. Tomato. 33,333 yogurt, backyard, father, tanks, Egypt, mother of Jesus, thunder, butter, Thailand. Here are some weird things that Irish people say, and I will explain what they mean. I will, yeah. This, of course, means I have absolutely no intention of completing the task in hand. That's grand, meaning it'll do. It's fine. A good bit. Meaning loads. I want loads. I'm off to get a few messages. Means I'm going shopping. Ah, you'll have one. Take a fucking biscuit or I swear to fuck. How bad? Things could be a lot worse. Relax. Any crack? I want to hear your most recent source of gossip. Fill me up. Let me know. Go away. I am in shock. And in fact, I want you to stay exactly where you are and keep telling me what you're telling me. There's your man now. We were recently talking about that guy and he is now here. There's your one now. Who's your one? We were recently talking about that girl and now she is here. She was throwing shapes. She was dancing in a very committed manner like. 
he's a ride. He's a very attractive man. Such a ride, like. Thanks for watching.